When I saw your name on this project, for some reason it made sense because I, I know you. You know, when I played a recurring role on Law & Order, the one thing I took away from that show, I'm like, Marishka has such a great big heart. Remember? <laughs> so it made sense that you were part of Emmanuel, part of this project. Viola, can I ask you where you were when you um, heard the news? I literally was at home watching the news and um, floored. And as much as I hear about tragedies all the time, this one was really seared through me, and I'll tell you why. As a Christian woman, as a lover of God and Christ, and as a woman of color and a South Carolina native, um, I was floored by how this man, Dylan Roof, walked into the church during Bible study and how they welcomed Welcome. him in. It's those kind of details. But as much as I know about history, and as much as I'm not surprised by acts of hatred and racism and violence, um, that one still shocked me. What I feel, even as a person of color, is that there is a resistance in our country and in our world with people to negate history, to negate the part of us that have been so molded and shaped by it. And as much as America is a beautiful country, and it is beautiful, it's beautiful because of its affirmations of life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness for all people. It's, it's, it's a way you can go and be who you are and, and, and live the American dream. It's also a country that was built on Jim Crow laws, on the black codes, on policies that really were about restricting our human rights. It's like um, being in love with a great, great relative who treats you with all the love and kindness in the world, but went to jail for murder for 20 years and trying to reconcile that love. So we have been shaped and molded for generations, generations with that hate with those restrictions. And what it's done is it's formed generations of people who have settled into that hate and don't recognize it as hate. They recognize it as it just is. Um, oh. and, and that is really the foundation of a lot of what happened in Charleston, South Carolina that we have to acknowledge before we can get beyond it. And still happening now. Absolutely. A lot of my anger is the result of growing up African-American and feeling like I am on the other end of that hate, feeling less than, feeling victimized all the time, and how dare you, how dare you, so then I justify mine. But the beauty of of, of what, hap what has happened is the possibilities of the human spirit, the possibility of actually moving on. The beauty of this film is, with any predatory experience, whether it's sexual assault with anything, the reason why there is a predator is because he's dehumanized the victim. And it's like you said, with Emmanuel, we're humanizing the victim is what we're doing. Emmanuel will be in theaters June 17th and 19th, which is the day that it happened in 2015. And I urge everyone to come see it and truly be blessed, be outraged, but just remember, 